The way you communicate and act towards the people in your life will show up in all your other relationships with your parents, your teachers, your employers, your employees if you're a boss, and even your dating life. Welcome back to Sue Space. This channel was created for you young people so that you can have a space to talk about your struggles and challenges. Our conversations are coming from a place of wisdom and experience. I've struggled, I've healed, and I'm here. So don't forget to tap the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload. This will help with my mission of reaching as many young people as possible. Your voice matters. So let's grow this space together. Young people, if you have not learned this already, disrespecting others is not the way to earn respect, be seen, be heard, or to get your point across. So if you didn't know, now you know. Disrespect is a heavy energy. And when I was younger, I would question myself every time I was disrespectful for someone. And more times than, than not, I would find that the disrespect came from a place that I was not happy with myself or something was going on with me that I wanted to change. And that anger and frustration was taken out on other people. The more loving and kind-hearted you are, the more giving, caring, and compassionate you'll be to others. The more angry, defensive, and disobedient, there'll be more arguments, confusion, and misunderstandings within your mind and your relationships. I'm talking to the young people today, this new age generation who has mastered the art of lashing out, more like cursing out, their parents, teachers, and elders, the ones that don't wanna to listen to anything anyone has to say when they're being addressed. They become combative, overly defensive, and argumentative when someone is trying to school them or correct them on their behavior. This may or may not be you, but if it is, I have just a few words of wisdom for you that will hopefully encourage you to go within, quit self-sabotaging, and conquer the enemy that's making you act out. Disrespect yourself and disrespect others too. As a teenager, everyone was pointing out everything that they thought I was doing wrong. It also made me feel like everything that I was doing was wrong. So as an adult, it became difficult for me to take accountability and admit my mistakes. So while I was trying to heal from all the negative patterns and all the toxic behaviors I had learned from my parents, my family, it was my daughter who made me pay attention to this one pattern. She kept saying, and she wouldn't stop saying, you don't know how to admit when you're wrong. And she was right, I didn't. It was a trauma bond that I needed to heal from and let go of. I had been told I was wrong so much in the past that I just wanted to be right all the time. So pay attention, young people, to whose actions you're copying, whose behaviors you're mirroring, because the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. I learned that behavior from my mother. My daughter learned it from me. You may have some cycles that you have to break. You can learn a lot from your parents, your elders, your teachers, if you just chilled, listened, and pay attention. Whether it's learning how to budget because they suck at it, learning how to cook, clean, or even how you don't want to be when you grow up. There's a difference between arrogance and confidence. So be open and willing to learn from others who have gone through what you've gone through and are trying to teach you a better way. When you don't like yourself, you run from accountability. And that does not mean that you're not going to be held accountable because you ran. You can run, but you can't hide. And I'm not sure who I'm talking to, but if this is you, don't fall in the trap of avoiding, admitting, and accepting that you make mistakes. We all do. Comment this below. A mistake that makes you humble is better than an achievement that makes you arrogant. Trust, you need to take accountability of your actions, your behavior. Otherwise, that trait is going to fly right out like a boomerang and come right back and hit you in your head, boom. You can't authentically move forward if your behavior is not corrected or changed. So why not work on your behavior sooner rather than later? Because one way or the other, you will be held accountable. So don't let life have to humble you for you to learn this lesson. Start by acknowledging your own shortcomings and strengths, not anyone else's. And don't be afraid to take accountability when you're wrong, even if you're embarrassed. Take baby steps. If you can't verbalize it, write it down. 
Young people, deep down, you know when you're wrong and you have to face the things in your mindset and behavior that you may not want to admit to yourself because you can't learn about yourself without the interactions of others. So learn how to communicate and act respectfully. Pay attention if you're always being corrected about the same thing. And I'm talking about you're hearing the same thing from your family members, parents, teachers, friends, etc. Hold your tongue for a second and ask yourself, could there be some truth to what they're saying? And if so, how can you correct this behavior? For me, it was, I was impatient. I would cut people off before they were finished. People would tell me that and it bothered me. Why did it bother me? But why did it bother me? It's because I was doing it. They said I was selfish, which is absolutely not true because I am a giver and I was a people pleaser until I created boundaries and stopped pleasing others and started taking care of me. And that's when I became selfish. Go figure. If someone tries to correct you and you're triggered and you feel your blood boiling and you get defensive, Take that as a sign that you have work to do on that very thing that has upset you. In Dubai, screaming and acting out in public is offensive. Can you believe it's considered a crime? There's a girl who recently got arrested and is facing four months to two years in prison for doing it. Young people, what and who can you become if you can't be corrected? Because I'm sure she was told to stop. I would have told her. Do you know where you are? Do you know what you're doing? If they didn't, then she had the wrong people around her. And don't think I'm here to chastise you because I'm not. I'm just trying to help because I can see the path that you're going down because I was going down that path too. I had a smart mouth. I talked back. I rolled my eyes anytime someone was trying to hold me accountable or correct my behavior and no one could tell me anything. And this is what happens when you think deep down, I've got it, I've got it handled, I've grown, I don't need anyone to tell me anything. But in fact, you're delusional. I was too. <laughs> <laughs> I was too. Disrespectful behavior happens when you haven't learned how to express your emotions, your frustrations in a healthy, mature way. The good news is bad behavior doesn't have to be permanent, but you have to accept that that knowing something can give you the opportunity to learn that making mistakes can teach you valuable lessons. Listen to the people who are going to steer you down the right path instead of listening to the ones who are only going to validate your toxic behaviors. Stop listening to those friends who are going to lead you down a path of destruction because you don't like the house rules, you don't like your curfew time, or being told to take out the trash, wash the dishes, or clean your room. Young people, don't be in a rush to get out there in them streets because them streets are dirty, just like your room. Try telling your employer that you're not coming in at 8, you're coming in at 10 because you don't like the company rules and see how that works out for you. I was out of my mother's house at 18 and two years later, I had to move right back in because I was unprepared. And this may not be your story, but all I'm saying is choose your battles wisely. So make a decision to change. And that's all for this one. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button before you head out if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and true to yourself until the next one.